What is happening, people? Welcome to the Straight Jacket Podcast. You know what I mean? No one is getting himself a bit giddy there. I am I mean. getting giddy. Just a bit. It's a scorcher it's out a there, scorcher pal. Today, man. It's, it's an a absolute scorcher. scorcher today. The cheeky He's got the cheeky out. You, you know what I mean? It's lovely head. weather. You've got to protect the head, mate. I haven't yeah. got many hairs as you, lad. I've got yeah. to protect the head. <laughs> well, this head keeps me too warm, you know what I mean? The throat's getting a bit too long now. But no, it is. On a special day today, Freedom Day. I'll last day, but <laughs> that's what they tell you. <laughs> Bonjo, mate. Bonjo's having you on. People, be careful. Yeah. Wear masks. Wash your batty, wash your hands, people. <laughs> Trust me. Wash your hands. Yeah. Stay away, social distance. Stay yeah. away from other people. Because we've got the highest rate in. Second yeah. highest in the world, apparently. Second, easily. And then I- yesterday, and then now we're opening all the floodlights. You know? Everywhere well, is open. Apparently, it's good, you know, after, 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 after the time we've had Norton. Yeah, no, 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 it's, I understand. I you know understand. what I mean? It's, it's finally now we've got Freedom Day. And I think for me, though. I think calling it Freedom Day, it just isn't. You know, is that a loose easy, term for you? Yeah, it is, it is a bit loose term. It is easing of restrictions. Yeah. Government restrictions, but people. But basically, the government's telling people, say, yeah. if you get for the Rona, it's your fault, you die. See, yeah, yeah. Say. That's what yeah. it's basically telling people. And then the app is pinging right, left and centre. Mm. Shops are closing, mate. Shops are closing yeah. because so many people yeah. have been in contact with people who have been, who have had the Rona. So, that Delta... It's crazy, isn't it? It's like, running you know, madness. like Morris, who's in... Yeah. It's is, is locked up, they won't let him out. Yo. You know what I mean? And then, it's, it's funny enough, we've got freedom. That's for me the best... I think the best ironic moment, he's the one that set the freedom day, but he's locked up, you know what I mean? Because he's kept us that for so long, but you know what I mean? We're enjoying this weather, you know what I mean? And enjoy it while it lasts, people. I think a lot of people are moaning, saying, oh, it's too well. It's too well. Are you having an absolute? <laughs> are, they, are they taking the absolute biscuit? Yeah. It's too well. What in the man Hancock that is going on in your head, mate? <laughs> you know the amount of grey clouds, the amount of rain, especially in Manchester? Mm. Yo. Sun's out, the shiki out, yep. protect your head, and most importantly, people, you know me, I'm always, yeah, yeah, what am always, I always on to you about? Hydrate. Hydration. Yeah, yeah. People need to hydrate, mate. And uh, no, yeah. the beers, free beers, Steve. Don't do it. Steve's like, I'm telling people to hydrate. <laughs> Steve's like, couple of beers for sort of that. <laughs> no, beer makes That's how you stay <laughs> hydrated. Get the couple of beers in. Listen, no, beers dehydrate you. I mean, water, no. water, yeah. mate. People look after yourselves in the heat wave, yeah. but most of all as well, look after his families as well. And don't get too giddy thinking it's all this, this Rona is yeah. going to be with us for a while. Yeah. So please take care of yourselves yeah, and man, take care of your it's families, hot, man. man. It's hot. It is a scorcher, oh. like, it is a scorcher. It's and some absolutely. people can't cope, mate. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not used to this weather, man. You get me? Like, there's certain weathers. Like, for me, I'm a spring guy. I'll be honest with you. I love my spring. I love when the daffodils, you know what I mean, rise up. I love it, you know, when it's 18, Check 15. Check him out, mate. I love that weather. Check but then again, I'm not going to complain. But let's get into it. My United talk, you know what I mean? We don't we don't shy away from it. <laughs> Straight Jacket podcast. A little bit of pre-season, eh? We, we won the game. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie to you. I've, I watched them for about 50 different streams because, again, not a penny more. You know what I mean? I don't want to fund them no Blazers chance. charging United no fans. Chance. Charging United no fans chance, man. to watch a pre season game. No chance. I mean, how, how bad does it get, man? Pre season game and you're charging Man United fans. I think it's about £8 to watch it. <laughs> Arsenal, no again, they did it. They were similar clubs, man. I think Chelsea showed it for free. You know what I mean? Other clubs, Bayern Munich showed it on their YouTube channel. Proper clubs show it, you know, for free because in the day, you Some know what I mean. What are you gaining yeah, out of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. But we see some of the young lads yesterday. We did see some of the young lads yesterday. You know what I mean. It was we did, and it was good to see. That's why it was good to watch. Yeah, it was a good watch. It was good to see mm. some of the young lads. I mean, to be fair, majority of this preseason till maybe you know two two and a half weeks, three weeks time, yeah. just before the before the season starts. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, Man United basically. Yeah, putting everybody on show to have a. To get loans, yeah. that's what it is. That's yeah, why the course. young players are playing. It's all get loans sorted out. Yeah, yeah. 
And it was good to see Chong. Chong looked like he yeah. he's walked up a little bit. Yeah. He's worked hard. You can Going see that. Going to Birmingham, that. Yeah. we wish him luck there. Yeah, wish him luck. We, we wish him the best of luck, man. Mm. And um, yeah, Palestri looked lively, Palestri, didn't he? You know he what? Lively. For me, he looked probably the best player. In, yeah, in yeah. That, Especially that second half, you know what I mean? Mm. He's something different. He runs at plays. He's a bit, you know, He's he has that close free control. It's control. It's control. You know what I mean? It's a touch as well. Touch. And the touch as well, you know what I mean? It's something different. A lot of people are saying, you know, you might as well loan out Dan James and keep Palestri. But in this in this age, you know, it's not going to happen because oh, that... after one preseason game, yeah. people, people do not remember. Listen, there's yeah. one thing I would say. I know some of you are getting giddy. Yeah, <laughs> no one's yeah. looking after. But this is where I come in, try to control the giddiness. Yeah, do not take too much into preseason. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw, and that yeah. is. That's especially for Arsenal fans. Yeah. Because I was, I was, Arteta, I was trending. Arteta, that's, that's what it is, man. You know what I mean? We've been starving of games. And then you say to yourself, right, I hate watching Arsenal. And then the second you that, is Arsenal come back on. Arteta out. <laughs> so, don't read too much into it. Yeah. Palestri looked like he, he, he's getting used to playing in European yeah. football. It was a game, yeah. it was under the heat, but he looks like he's hungry. Yeah. And he's one for the future. And I said that before we signed him, I told you. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. He when he came as future. an 80 year old. Yeah, he's one for the future because mm. the Muppets, the bankers are Man United for. He's yeah. coming, that's what they bought him, like, he's going straight into Yeah, because they bought him for about 10, 12 million, didn't they? You know what I mean? They thought, you know, that he was going to become like a straight future. into. Straight and I never heard of him before that. I didn't know where he came from. Straight you know, into the first team. And, and, you know, he showed what he did yesterday. And I thought, you know, some of the young lads, I thought Hannibal came in. Jesse Lingard looked like he never missed a preseason game. You yeah, know what because I mean? he's fit, yeah, yeah, because he's fit in it. He's, he's got low, so he's, he's yeah. basically got hardly any fat on him. Yeah. He's the kind of guy, he's a natural athlete. Yeah, Jesse yeah, Lingard's natural. a natural athlete. Natural, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You always do them. When you, when, you, when you see them players that you used to play with back in the day, yeah. and it's full of energy, That's you know it. what I mean? And, and, and I think for me, you know, I thought he played well. I thought there's some of the youngsters as well. I thought... Um, who was that other guy? Short tie, I thought he was a bit nippy. Yeah. Hannibal, very exciting young talent. For me, I'm a bit doubting whether he'd stay at my United because he's not one of them players that will like be like, yeah, you know what? I'm here to, you know, take my time. He's one of them. If he doesn't get opportunity the next year or two, he's like, yo, listen, I'll go up to one of these French clubs and I'll say, you know what, they'll they'll take me. Because these these French players, they're all about playing football. Yeah, yeah. You know well, what I mean? They're all yeah. about playing football. I mean, I mean, I mean that's what is really interesting, isn't it? He's, yeah. he's chosen to play for Tunisia as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, yo, there you France. go then. You could easily wait for France and say, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, nah, nah man, I'm, I'm French born, yo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I thought, nah. I'm gonna play for Tunisia. Yeah, because he'll you know, know he'll, he'll get the homeland. Yeah, yeah, he'll 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 get a play. He'll get to play. Yeah. But yeah, all, all in all, yesterday's game, mm. we don't put too much in it. We don't read too much into it. The big yeah. thing was fitness. Yeah. But there were all of those players that you named. So Ilanga, Shortaya, yeah. yeah. Palestri, yeah. Uh, Hannibal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mm. The two in midfield. Who played in midfield in the first? Uh, Ghana eleven. Uh, Ghana eleven. Yeah. All, all of those. So all of those are so seven mm. or eight players could be on loan this season. Mm. And for me, what I'm looking for, for some of them, is Premier League loans. Um, or mm. Championship loans as well. It'd be difficult. That, that's what I'm looking Especially, for. Especially, yeah, more, more Championship, definitely. If you can get Premier League, then I, I think Ghana, to, to me, Ghana looked good. Um, Ghana he, did, looked he, good. He, he, sprayed, he, he sprayed the ball a couple of times. I thought, you know what, he looked a bit decent. Near yeah. and tiny. He looked good in the Championship last season. I think this, I don't think we should loan him out to a... Um, to a championship this season. I think we need to, Premier League. Be, to be loaned out to Premier League. Mm. Because he's already shown that he can thrive in that. Do you know mm. what I mean? Big game football. Because his mm. championship is quite competitive as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah. now a Premier League team. Same with Palestri. To me, sending him back to Spain. And that's the thing for me, yeah. When you send him back to Spain and Alaves, yeah. It's not learning it's, anything. It's not learning not anything. Learning. And that's he's the problem, not, you know what I mean? He's he's not, he won't even be a starter in a team that needs starters, you know what I mean? No respect to Alaves here, but they will be one of the people that be in the relegation area and they will be looking to stay up, you know what I mean? And they need fighters, you know, they don't, you know, and especially when it's getting dog in there. It's like Menji, you know, when he went to Derby County, you know, he was starting and the next thing you know, when it got to the tough end of the season and when the relegation fight, he didn't start because obviously you need experience in their moments, mm. you know what I mean? So I think with Pelestri, it's, it's the same exposure. He's probably thinking now, because he asked him a question and said to him, um, you know, do you, you know? Do you want to stay at Old Trafford and fight for your place? Because yes, I want to stay. So the, he wants to stay, and I think that that's a running theme for the rest of the squad. They want to stay because in the day, Man United is different. No, it yeah, nah, Of course, it you is. know what I mean. Look, what did he win last year? Nothing. He, they're thinking, I'm better than Pelé. thinking, I'm better than Dan James. I'm better than Matt. Jesse Lingard thinking the same with all these lot. Donny Van der Beek hardly played last season. 
Bruno Fernandes at the big moment didn't deliver. There were certain players that didn't deliver. I could come in this squad and I could deliver. And Jesse Lingard said, Kim, I didn't make that Euros. I was at West Ham, played the best football, I think, since 2018 when he went on that good running, yeah, yeah. Christmas time. That was the best he's ever played. Lingardinho. Lingardinho. Messi Lingard. You remember? <laughs> Everyone knows. Lingardinho. You know, this, this is what I'm trying to say to you. It's different at a different club, but when it's at Man United, it's almost as if Southgate's ears open again and like, oh, Man yeah. United player. Mm. Oh, plays for England. Well, well this, Goals yeah, well, well this, this, this is what people it's, are saying. People are saying that if Pogba was to leave, Man United should sign Grealish and say to Grealish, Grealish, if you come to Man United, yeah. you're, you're, you're starting for England. <laughs> there you go then. That's what it would be. There you go. Listen, then. listen, let's not get into to me. I see that. But on the Lingard question, Saeed, yeah. I'll let him go. Because you know what's going to happen already. Mm. We already know what's going to happen, Saeed. Bruno is going to play every minute of every game next season. This is the problem. Burnout, burnout FC, mate. Yeah. Burnout. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So Lingard, when, he talk, when Oli's talking about options, when he was asked, oh, options. And Oli says that. Do you know the reason why he says that? He's never going to come out and say these yeah. players need, unless he's already been confirmed and done. He's never going to come out and say, because he's always going to say so that Man United, the price stays there. If he came out and said, if Oli came out and said, right, yeah. um, Lingard's going to go, yeah. right? That means then people are like, all right, pay some bargains, mate. We'll, we'll have a bargain. That's yeah. a bargain then. Because <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you. No manager is going to say. You get one for eight. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why to keep the, keep his price high, mm. he's going to say, oh, he might stay. Mm. Because the other clubs are going, oh, but they're going to have to pay extra to but get him. But he deserves, to me, at the age of 28, I know he looks 15. Yeah, <laughs> big up, big up. Bro, man. He yeah, looks young still. Listen. He needs to play first team football, mm. and that's what is guaranteed. Unless Man United are going to do something which they've not done, yeah. right? Whole of last season yeah. is basically give people six, seven minutes, take them off, and make substitutions but the every game. Is, though, what my thing is, no, did. That's not going to happen. Jesse Lingard, the, 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 Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was asked, "What well, you know? What, what do you think about Jesse Lingard's future?" He said, "He wants to fight for his place." He wants to fight Saeed. Saeed. This is what he said Saeed. though. Why Sa would Oli say something Sa different? Sa Saeed, listen. He's saying those things. At the end of the day, people want him. Jesse Lingard, for me, at even the Rona prizes, is worth at least 30 million. Yeah. Because of the phenomenal form he showed yeah. last season. Yeah, of course. And then you look at the way how Jesse Lingard plays. Jesse Lingard, if there's yeah. space behind the team, he's movement. Yeah, he's a, of course. He is a different kind of yeah. creative player. Yeah. You know, as a number 10. He's the kind of guy who moves people, yeah. right? And... When you got space, so teams that other teams are gonna attack and they're gonna have space. Mm. That is what kind you of United like that suit. kind of player. Yeah, no, listen, Man United don't play that like because majority of teams who come to Old Trafford, yeah, yeah, cost are gonna sit back. There's no yeah, space. Cost, cost. We need guys who are gonna open people up, yeah, yeah. isolate players, and yeah. take them on. Mm. Right? Jesse Lingard will be the guy to come on Man United. Man United are winning, and he's the guy to come and stretch teams. Yeah, yeah. But um, do you trust oh, all these substitutions? That, that's what I'm trying to say, though. I think a lot of people. If, if you're my personal opinion, I, I, I'd rather Jesse Lingard stayed because I think of it. No, we didn't win a trophy last year. We didn't. We didn't have options. Only in the social. I, I get what you mean. He was stubborn, but you got to realize he's thinking. Well, I can fight for my place here because end of the day, nobody won anything. We didn't win anything last season. These players that you're talking about didn't step up. We had, last year, Saeed, we, we, we were played, meant to bring on players last they, they, year. They, they we got, brought on Quan Mata <laughs> in the Europa League final. They got played. They got absolutely played to death, though. That's the thing about no, it. No, but when you look at it, though, did we need a player like Jesse Lingard in that Villarreal game to stretch the defence? No, because Them, teams that, that Asian Raul no, Albio. No, the, listen, the team sat back, Saeed. It's difficult. Unless you've got a super creative midfielder who are going to find him. On the way we are now, the players that we have in midfield, mm. Jesse Lingard is dead in this, in this Man United. If we're playing City every week, or Liverpool yeah. every week, where we're going to sit back and counter them. Yeah, yeah, yeah we need Jesse Lingard then. Yeah. So, we're going to take Jesse Lingard for five or six games yeah. where Man United might counter-attack, right? Yeah. Because Jesse, is like like the rest of them, is deadly on the break. Mm. At West Ham, you think most majority of his goals... So, what were you trying to say then? We have a 1-11. At 11, that start 11, that plays for Oli's system. Is that what you're saying? Because you're looking no, at no, Donny no, van der Beek. No, no, he's not, no. Because he's obviously Donny van der Beek. No, 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 he's no, similar no. player to Jesse Lingard no, in terms no. of yeah. he likes to go with the Yeah, but he's, he's more of a touch footballer. He's yeah, more but of a touch. Jesse Lingard is that as well. No, no, listen. Jesse Lingard is the... One touch Van der Beek, go. Yeah, Van der Beek is more. Van der Beek's of a, on a different level, yeah. I know that. Van der Beek is more of a touch footballer. And yeah. if you've got a system, if you've got a super creative player in midfield, just, um, 
Van der Beek can play as a number eight. Jesse Lingard is a forward. He's yeah, more yeah. of a forward player, yeah. right? The way he plays for Man United, do not get the best out of him. Mm. He's going to look like we can't unlock because get he's not going to get space. Get the best out of anyone? He's not going to get I mean? space that he, to run yeah. into. He's not going to have to find the space to run into unless Man United unlock the creativity in midfield. Yeah. And at this moment in time, Man United creative wise, yeah. we don't. We're going to have we're going to next season. <laughs> you know, you know, do you want to estimate what a squad is though? I think no, I just, hey, listen. I completely agree. Do you know what I mean? If Man United had a, a creativity in midfield, mm. Jesse Lingard will be brilliant. In the biggest because, squads, yeah, yeah, we had how many players? You know, in the ninety-nine yeah, squad, of course, it's, 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 the Hundred percent, I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. But I'm afraid to say there is nothing in Oli's indication that tells me that Oli's going to change his ways. Don't play. If, if, Who does listen, rely on more? Listen, Oli Brian, or... listen, Bruno. Do you think in a game Man United are losing? Let, let me give you this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Man United are losing the game. Yeah. Seventy minutes gone. Yeah. Uh, Bruno's having his worst absolute. Mm. Not getting anything. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna sub him sub Lingard on for Bruno? No. But so I, think why should a, he stay? I think that's a problem, though. So why should that's what no, I'm saying? That, that problem is not down to me, though. No, that but why? Is an option for but, my United but, fans but to get excited that. about. But, we, but that's not an option because again, all is being stubborn. It comes down to again, it comes down. No, to but worry. also these players, some of these players don't want to be taken off. They're like, no, I'm but, this, but, I'm but, that. At the end of the day, listen. At the end of the day, how many times did Alex Ferguson say, you know what, you're coming off? Yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean? They go. Remember Tottenham? We were losing two 0 and then he brought he brought on four. Four, five forwards: Tevez, Berbatov, Ronaldo, Rooney. He played Rooney at left wing. You've got to make these bold decisions that's and go for it. That's 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 listen, all I'm saying to for me, from where I see, it, I agree. Listen, do, I I understand the people who want Jesse to stay, who want Jesse to to, to have. No, but I'm thinking that's an option. Though. That's an option, yeah. yeah. But from everything, from the evidence we saw, and especially more than any game in that final. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Substitutions, man. Man don't want to make substitutions. So, if Oli was to change, right? Yeah. That's totally what I'm trying to say. Right? If Oli's mentality has changed mm. in terms of literally learning from everything that happened last season, yeah. burning. That's what we are. Burnout FC, mate. Burnout FC. Yeah. If that was not to happen and he was going to make proper. Jesse Lingard is a good option yeah. to sometimes. There be, might be games yeah. where you say to Bruno, resting, mate. Other players, resting, pop by resting. And then you then manage them throughout the season. Yeah. If Jesse Lingard could play in some of those games, yes, but Make I can't see that happening. Games, Champions League I games, as FA Cup. But all the players we just named, we named about eight youngsters. They're all vying for. I think the only person that might be able to stay is Elanga, and I'll be shocked if he stays. Yeah, yeah. But Man United squad is too big. It's too That's big. That's the problem. Because, That's the conundrum. Because why? This because, is the conundrum. Because there's only going to social let these go. Listen, Saeed, look how many players City Man City let go on free. Yeah. Look how many people Barcelona let go on a free. Mm. Big clubs act like big clubs. That yeah, is. I know. Man United would rather get you into a contract because the bankers don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And all of this, all Merta roads, knows. All roads Merta, lead to. Yeah, Merta knows. Merta this. Merta, Merta tells the man, eh? What? <laughs> knows what? Knows Jack all me. Why, are my, why is Vidic there? Why is... What, 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 sorry, not Vidic. Matic. Why is Matic there? Matic look good, but... Why are you giving him with his legs gone? It matters to me, it's better than Fred and McTominay. But can he last the whole season in that no. position, Said? No, no, he can't. Yeah. He can't. So why we not got rid of him and bought in somebody to replace him? But no, Plays we, we give him we give him another contract. Yeah. Same thing with Matt, Matt. I mean, this is the thing about it. All these guys are going to turn to coaches. I, 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 I was reading somewhere that in the summer, Matt has uh, done his UEFA B license. Yeah. Jumps on the boys! <laughs> Business FC, mate. It's That's how it is. You know what I mean? The guy that they do the, the, the coaches. doing courses, apparently. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's destined, mate, to be an ambassador role. Or, and then you've got that guy, um, the, new, the new defensive coach. You know, well, let's he, see what the set pieces do anyway. You know, he's, 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 in the he's set Again, when guy. you talk about jobs for the boys, he was um, apparently, you know, um, referred... So, by Kieran McKenna because they went to the same university called Lodbro, I think. No, 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 it's a sports university. Lodbro, yeah, Lodbro, Lodbro, Lodbro yeah, 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 yeah. So they went. But it was at Chelsea. Former was at... Chelsea. Yeah, you know what I mean. Chelsea, Chelsea yeah. let him go. If, if it's our game, we'll see. But when I talk about squad conundrum, you know what I mean, because this is the kind of a, the theme for the for the for the podcast here. When I talk about here, yeah, I think everyone has a squad. Yeah, you're looking at even to the teams of. Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool, they all have a squad and they use it in different moments, you know. I look at Man United and I think, is there even a squad? Because you've got an 11, 
But then it's the squad is like, I'm looking, I'm thinking, is it really a squad? Do we no. use a squad? No. And I think all roads lead to the coaching staff of maximising that squad. We can say, let him go, let him go, let him let go, him let stay. him go. Let him, stay. let him stay, let him stay. But again, we don't know what the... F we know that the first team is the first team, but we don't use a squad. Hence why we didn't win a single trophy last year. Because for me, the coaching staff didn't maximise the squad to its full potential. Mm. Didn't use a squad and adapt it to the way that it could have been. Didn't use a squad to know that, you know, in certain games, Bruno, have a rest, mate. Pogba, have a rest. We'll play Donny van der Beek, we'll do this. No. We'll do that, no. you know? And it's always, and, and that's why for me, there's certain games next year where you might need a Jesse Lingard. Because he might be more in favour than Donny van der Beek. Wow. Sorry. And we bought Donny van der Beek, but I just look at Donny van der Beek again. Is he even ahead of Jesse Lingard in, that, in this team? No. It's true. Well, well, Lingard is ahead of him in terms of fitness because him and Martial reporting back apparently next week. Next week, yeah, yeah. Next week. So you know both I mean? had injuries to be fair. And then, and then you've got the keeper situation. I mean, oh my <laughs> God, mate. Tommy, Tom last night, I don't know if you've seen Tommy. Shout yeah. out to Tommy, by the way. He had a good game. But he goes... You know, I'm, I'm here to respect the lads, you know, I know what they've done, but, you know, I'm here to work. <laughs> Fight for this place! But listen, no stability, it wouldn't surprise The me. place where you want stability, right, is a goalkeeper. You want a number one. Four then, then you keepers. Listen, you want a number Four one. Four keepers. One of them is a coach, isn't it? It's a goalkeeper. Lee coach. Grant, yeah. Lee, Lee Grant's That's the fifth one. Well. No, wow. yeah, yeah. Wow, so, so we got Four, Henderson. Four, sorry, four. Yeah, Henderson. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, and then we've got Bishop who's coming at, back apparently. At, at the end of the day, Saeed, right. Man United are this. We've got 350, what, 350 grand a week goalkeeper. Yeah. 120 grand in Henderson. But I don't know how much uh, Tom Heat is on, you know what I mean? We don't know. You know what I mean? We'll find out the leaks maybe. But, you know, there's, there's three, three keepers there you're talking about who, you know. I, I'm sure I read somewhere when we're, we're paying in, in a close to thing. To a half a million in wages, on no, not on keepers. Yeah, it's it's for me. It's absolutely. It's abs and then you've got anything you wanted to know about Glazonomics? Yeah, there you go. And then you've most got clubs just have three. Yeah, three goalkeepers. But you know, you have you know, you don't have the standards that we've got. You know, De Gea, Henderson. You know, what I mean, even even this guy here could be number two for most clubs. Heating. You know, he's, he's, I think he's a steady Eddie keeper. But when you look at it, Norden, De Gea is running. Is steady Eddie good enough for Man United? No. Nope. No. That's, that's what I'm talking about. How many steady eddies have we got in this team? That's what I'm trying to say. How many how many steady eddies are there? That's our problem. That's our problem. There's a lot of steady eddies. You know that's our I mean? problem. You look at the centre back situations. You've got, you know, my United, this is how bad it is. You've got Twanzebe. I'm, I'm not going to add Phil Jones because I think that'll be, you know what I mean? Why not? Why not? Listen. Alright, we'll add him. Phil Jones is the only footballer who's been in self isolation for the past decade, mate. <laughs> mate. Before the Rona, mate. Before the Rona. My guy was self isolated. He sent the contract and he said to himself, I'm self isolated myself. <laughs> <laughs> He knew about it before anyone else. Before, you know what? He you was know, a clairvoyant, mate. He's a got, clairvoyant. The centre back situations you've got him, Bailly, Lindelof. You've got uh, Harry Maguire, Twan Zabi. And you're even looking at Menji. You've got five. Yeah, Menji's going the back again. Yeah, but like... if you Twan Zabi. And it might not even were adding Varan as well. You know. Just, it, it's almost as if. I don't get giddy with this Varan talk. For me, for everything, from, from the sound of it. It's happening. Saeed, no, from Come the sound of it. Even, even, Sa a, Sa even Sa me, I'm most pessimistic sometimes. But listen, Varan is coming. Saeed, I'm sorry. It's not, you know what it is? I see the whole marks of he's not responding to Real Madrid because Real Madrid are not matching Man United's offer of 12 million, 12 million pounds yeah. a year. It's simple. But they agree, the terms have agreed. So I, so I, that's what we are. Terms agreed FC, mate. <laughs> I could agree with it. Listen, I could agree mm. at, uh, at terms with a lamppost, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, it's things about the, every breaking news for the past month. It would be been, your lamppost. Sorry, right? sorry. <laughs> every breaking news that has been for the past month, everybody, what click, absolute clickbait, the, the clickbaitery. Mm. It's in, on the next levels. Mm. But for the past month with the Varane, all I'm hearing mm. is that personal terms agree. So, one week, personal terms agree breaking news. The week after, personal ter terms agree the breaking news. Mm. The week after that, mm. personal terms agree yeah. breaking news. True. The last even, couple even of days. The Sancho thing, listen, apparently, we're working on the image rights. The last couple of days, yeah. personal agreed. 
Yeah. Personal terms agreed. Yeah. So you can agree personal terms with whoever you want. Yeah. At the end of the day, deals are done by two clubs. Mm. Is the deal done? Are Man United in negotiations to sign Varane? Is Varane... And for me, I look at... To me, I look at it and I look at it clear. Yeah. So Ramos used those as an absolute thing to mm. basically get more money from mm. Real Madrid. Mm. Is, is Varane doing the same to us? Because at the end of the day... Mm. It looks more positive the day, though. At the end of the day, mm. you smash in a transfer request and then you go, I'm going to Man United, sort the money out with Man United. Mm. That's what he did, because he's got one year left, right? Mm. So he can do that. Mm. One year left. Mm. He can do that. But at the end of the day, I'm not getting cocked into this. Mm. Like, when, like I said to you, when I see them holding a the shirt... Yeah, they don't even get excited. Day. Well, I mean, especially that shirt. Oh <laughs> my God, it's You know what? No, a Penny Moore campaign, I'm there always not tweeting Penny about Moore, it. Yeah. You know what? It's an old I'm telling you now, Man United have done, the Glazers, the Glazers have done, whoever advised them with that team viewer. That to me is the worst Rome, kit. Man. It's the worst kit oh I have God, ever man. seen in my lifetime at Man United. That's the worst the, Man the United kit. It is awful. Yeah, it's very plain. Like there's a bit like on a shirt, on the end, there's like so much like, it's like you've got the you've got the team viewer there, which I think looks awful itself. <laughs> and you've got a large section there that was like played. You know, you know what? what? I'm I'm there trying to discourage fans from buying any merch. Oh my Nobody's God. buying shirts. Nobody's buying Nobody shirts. Nobody's shirts. You don't mate. have to you don't have to be outside in Megan Listen, store. I you know what I mean? We're going, mate. We're going. I'm taking it. We're going, mate. <laughs> But team viewer, Man United just shows you there. That to me is the worst kit ever. ever. It's the worst. Even worse than that 2012 one. Oh, it's like a like a cloth. Said even that one. Even that to me, this is the yeah. worst because it looks like a Sunday league team, mate. We got we are though. <laughs> we are though. That's the irony, people. We are we a are Sunday league team because any day that's how we run. That's how we run. We run like a Sunday league team. <laughs> and so, hey, have you heard what's going on with the woman? Not a peep. Not a new yep, manager. Exactly. No. What's going on? She goes to. Mm. Uh, she goes to. But she, she, she got to Dal uh, uh, Nashville or something. No, 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 no. What's her name? Casey uh, Stone. Yeah, gone. Casey, yeah, she's gone because she's one of the, Yeah, she's gonna be one of the greatest woman coaches ever. One of the best. Trust me. Mark my words. Mm. She's got that much potential, but the young. Uh, player who's one of our best young players. Yeah, she's gone back to James. Yeah, she's gone back to where? Chelsea. Chelsea. Mm. So it just shows you mm. we are. So when we talk about this, we've got evidence to back it up. When we talk about we run like a Sunday league, mm. we don't just say it loosely. Yeah. We are run by love. Mm. and that kit looks like a Sunday league. And I think even people who play the Sunday league might be ashamed of it. We'll put, we'll might put be bibs on. <laughs> <their Sunday league. laughs> exactly. I've seen some bad boy kids, Sunday league kids, mate. Oh, I'm telling you. God. But you know what it is, though? When you, when, you, when you go back to the squad, though, and you're thinking, it's very inflated. You know, David De Gea, will United sell him? I don't think so. I think he'll fight for his number one. He's on a big boy contract, you know. Nobody's going to offer him world football, 350 grand a week. No for a keeper, I think. Is he past his best? Probably the peak years. I've seen the best of David Gay, I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Henderson, is he good enough for number one? I'm not too sure. You know what I mean? Because it's a big it's a big jersey, you know. That shirt is very heavy. Yeah, you yeah. say it all the time. Of course it is. You know what I mean? He weighs down on you. He made a couple of mistakes. But it's also, he has had good games. And you've got to give him that. But, you know, this this keep... We've got to keep a madness. We've got Lindelof who, you know, for him for himself, thought he was a starter last season. He displaced Bailly. Bailly signed a contract. He's thinking, all right, I've got a chance here. Varane's coming in. Then you've got the whole situation of the midfield. No, no, no kind of um, CDM. They're not only going to soul try thinking, oh, hey, hold on a minute. I want to try the 4 3 3. You know what I mean? So, hey, that 4 3 3, by the way, is that a disaster that's happened? I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to believe it when I see it. Saeed. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm not buying all this problem. No, but you know why? You know why you say that, people? Because, I'm you know, that Tottenham game. game. It changed everything, didn't it? You know what I mean? That one result against the Leeds, yeah. Say, say for example, Leeds. Something, you know, we, we lose a game. And he goes with that 4-3-3. That's going to go like that, no, we did. Or even a game. You just know the big games. He might revert back to back five. Fat, fat you know Fred, what I mean? Mate. Matt Fred. If you're going to do something, you have to stick for it the season. Matt Fred are there, 4 mate. three three. Matt Fred are in full effect, mate. They ain't going nowhere, pal. And we've not signed anything or we've not done anything. No midfielders. To live, basically. At the end of the day... You can buy Haran, you can buy Sancho. Yeah. If you don't fix that midfield, that midfield, a number, a number six, yeah. who somebody who can play, yeah. or two eights that can complement each of them and do some of the work. Yeah. No smoke, mate. No cigar, mate. Yeah. No That's cigar. 
That's no true. No cigar, man. No, no you cigar. know what I mean? We're not, we're not, we're, there's no, you know, no vardy, no party, you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's the reality of it because that situation is very, very glaring for Man United in terms of they need to sort out this CDM situation. But again, you know what I mean? I don't think but Man United did, are But Matic is there. How can we get in somebody when Matic is there? Yeah. How can, how can you move somebody else on when Matic is there? Yeah. And like I said, McTominay and Fred, McTominay will never be sold. And the reason why McTominay will always play for Man yeah. United is because when you come through the youth team, you get favoured. Certain players get yeah. favoured, right? Yeah. But then I'm like, so how come two and Zabies not getting favoured? Yeah. And the thing is, where me and you where we disagree, yeah. we don't know two and Zabies ceiling. So if mm. we don't know his ceiling, because mm. we, I've not seen him play ten straight games or eight straight games, mm. and to see if he's good enough for this team. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's simple, and he needs a loan. So we look at let's look, let's look at it. So we yeah. got all the, we talked about we talked about the youth players, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Ilanga Shorter, yeah. Um Levitt. Yeah, Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Uh Palestri. Palestri. Um who else have we got? Palestri, uh, um Um Hannibal. Yeah. So how many all right, we got about eight players, yeah? Who could go on loan, yeah? Yeah. Let's look at the what the now, the guys who are in around the first team. Mm. So we so basically the, So we got um first team, we've got Victor Lindelof. Victor Lindelof filled Phil self isolate Joe. Phil self isolate Joe. Eric Bay. Eric Bay. Eric Bay and 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 Eric Bay. I think will get. And Ahmed and, and Ahmed. They've gone to the Olympics. Yeah, they've gone to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. The Eric Bay. You see him staying anywhere? You see him? You see him fight for his place? If Iran was to come, you know, it's it's again. To, it's a to weird me, situation. about that guy, it's more about fitness and yeah. feeling too innit. And you can't rely on him. Yeah. Diego Dallo. United. We're not willing to load him out. The same. They want to buy. They don't. They want people to buy. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Shaw, ever present. Alex Tellers, did he get he's, his mid to Roma? No, nah, no, nah, he said he's staying. He said he's staying, fighting yeah. for his place. Yeah, Brandon Williams. <laughs> Brandon Williams, I'm going to go to Southampton. Alone, so yeah. he'll be going. Aaron Bissaka, if Trippier comes in, again, no, nah, they're going to fight. Watch they're going to fight. The no, nah, nah, they're going to fight. They're going to have to fight. Did, did, is I, I think the pressure, I think somebody to come, somebody experienced mm. to come and put pressure on Juan Bissaka is good. Yeah. I think, look what happened to Luke Shaw. Tennis yeah, yeah. comes in, Luke Shaw goes up. Yeah, levels, that's right? true. That's true. So we might need that. Yeah. Williams definitely. Axel Twanzebe, twenty four now. You know what I mean? It's, he it's, for me, he's been under like three, he, four different managers. You know, been under Mourinho, yeah, Van yeah. Gaal. To me, he, you know, this is if he doesn't get any game time till January, then in January he has to go on loan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's uh, true. Mengi definitely he's going on. Going on loan. Paul Pogba. Uh, what do we do with him? Because there's, no, there's again, there's no thing. Oh, apparently, Man United won sixty million for him. Paris have said they want, they want Man United won sixty. Would that million. be a big, big loss if we lost him? Saeed, I think, I think that I genuinely think in my heart, heart, every when I think about it, sell him out, I, sell I him think, now, or go in a year for free. Big clubs like Real Madrid have said, you know what, take the money. You know, no bigger, no, no player is bigger than a club. But Saeed, that's what I'm saying. But look what I'm Real Madrid are apparently saying to Varane. I mean. Ferran wants to stay in Madrid, but he just wants a bigger, bigger contract. But they're saying to him, if you're not gonna, if, if you're gonna try to go on a free, we're not letting you. Know. We want money for you. Mm. Man United apparently have sold Paris Saint Germain. Apparently, yeah. this is apparent and put with quotation mark yeah. that they want sixty million for him. So, yeah. if, is it time to let him go? Maybe it is because for me, I think that that ship sailed. Do you think Do you think he will sign a new deal? Nah, nah, no, yeah, no, no. I, 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 I will be. Very much shocked if Paul Pogba signs a new deal. I think Paul Pogba needs a new challenge. Yeah. He's done what he's... At 28 now yeah, as well. Yeah, he, he, he needs to. He needs to. He needs but the to thing, go. the way to get is no murmurs, no nothing. No, no, no. Paris Saint-Germain, Saeed. Paris Saint-Germain are the only... So, there's a, to let the viewers know, there is a collapse. A TV deal yeah. that was supposed to have been coming in 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 in, 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 in uh, yeah, Liga. Yeah. Liga. This is the Liga. So, this is the French League. Yeah. Huge collapse. Yeah. This season, so basically, a lot of the French teams have spent money that they had they didn't receive. Yeah. So they were they were banking on this massive TV deal to come through. I think it was worth like one billion or mm. something like that. Mm. That TV deal has collapsed. Amazon has tried to fill it, but now it's pittance, absolute yeah. pittance. So Paris Saint Germain are going on all out, and our pressure is on Poch. If Poch don't clean house this season, and I mean win the treble, the treble in France. Don't talk to me about Poch again because all of the it's French magic, teams, man. listen to me, all of the French teams that they all have to sell. If you did sack it, listen, we'll have so, <laughs> they'll have to sell. They all have to sell anyway. Yeah. They all majority of, of 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 French teams have to sell to survive. Yeah. So Quite I think me personally, Paul Pogba, 
is 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 going. Well, Juanmata signed already. Yeah, he's signed. Juanmata signed. You know he's, what I mean? He's staying. He's staying. Juan Mata's 273 staying. appearances. Yeah, he's he's stay, he's staying. Um, we've got um, Jesse Lingard again. He, For me, I would keep him. Yeah, you you would. Uh, Pereira, hundred percent, he's got to go. Pereira, Princess and Pearl, man, you don't want a bit of Princess and Pearl. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, I think Fred. the sealed. To me, again, one Has of the. Has he signed a new deal as well? By the way. No, nah, nah, I, I don't know if he signed a new deal, but but Ollie was talking uh, immensely about him saying, yeah, he he's an absolute warrior and this yeah. and that. But anyway, Bruno Fernandez again, you know, I mean, we were long point talking about him. Well, he he'll, he'll want to go. Uh, uh, he will want to go. Uh, he yeah. will want to go. I think. I'm a Diallo. Be, I think I would send him alone in the Premier League. I'm a Diallo. Yeah, in the Premier League. I, I don't. I think that would be. I think that for me that would hurt us. You know what I mean? Because he's a player that could have an impact at a team. But Saeed, is he going to get any time though? What, I, with, with what's going on? Last season, again, he didn't even have it, and, and, he didn't, this guy? and he didn't get what's any playing time. He didn't get any playing time, Saeed. He didn't get any playing what time. What was the point of buying this kid? Sa- Sa- Saeed, this what I'm saying. To me, if, if, Rashford gets the, if Rashford gets a surgery, then he stays, right? Yeah. He stays as a cover. Yeah. Palestri, definitely hold Daniel on. James, sorry, that's Daniel James. Yeah, well, Daniel James, he basically... He, he'll stay because of the day, yeah, Rashford's yeah. injury. Yeah. Pe- Palestri will have to go on loan. Yeah. Uh, the Manny Matic, you know, I mean, on the bench, Donny Van de Beek. He this season to me is make or break for him, and, and that means he has to be given a chance to play. Yeah. To me, Donny Van de Beek is our hope of breaking up Fred and McTominay partnership. Yeah, but He's again, fans don't see that. Fans see him as a a box to box or an eight or a yeah, ten. Yeah, but, I mean, but, they but, don't but, really but, see. Well, you can play as an eight. To me, Fred has to change the way Fred plays. Fred has to become yeah. a number six. If we don't mind, I don't sign. Fred has to learn. Yeah, for the World Cup as well for Donny. Because did you see Fred? Fred played as a number six for Brazil. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. And, and he kept Fabinho out of the team. Yep, yeah, kept Fabinho out of the team, and I think he played well until the final. You know what I mean? I thought in Brazil just got, got, his, got, got, his, got his yellow card. Got his yellow card, <laughs> mate. Bloody hell, mate. Yeah, that was yeah. a double. And then did you see, and did you see that? Did you see that manager there, Brazil manager? Yeah, yeah. Yellow card, getting off some because I can't take you out to play with ten men. Exactly. Exactly. So we'll see. Jimmy Mark Garner. Tomo, Jimmy Garner definitely on loan. Premier League loan for me. Um, Scott McTominay. Um, he's never he's not going anywhere, mate. He's Man United DNA, pal. <laughs> Hannibal's. I think Hannibal for me. You keep him in around the squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the twenty threes, you keep him. You keep you keep him. But to me, and again, I will send him alone as well. To me, yeah. all of these youngsters will always go because they will find out something about their character. Yeah. yeah. Send them to good footballing teams, and I'm talking about teams like Norwich. Do you know what I mean? Palestri. I'm thinking something. Palestri. I'm looking at someone like Norwich. You know what? Ghana. I'm talking about local Norwich, Norwich, yeah, yeah. Who play good football? Good football, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. I'm looking at. Good or football. Brentford, or yeah, Brentford. Brentford. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Eddie, 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 Cavani. Well, it's about the season, isn't it? How is it? Yeah. Split? Again, you know what I mean? You know, you know, it, it's one of them. Is that he played a lot? He played for Copa America. He played a lot of games this season. You know, can he do another year of this? He'll be 35 next year. So well, this is we'll his see. Last, yeah, this is his last. Martial, big season. Big season, absolute, absolute season. Has to get the ball running. If nice. he doesn't get the ball running and score in each of his first three games, I think that's a standard that people have put on him. And I think this is make or break. For 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 me, I know he's a quality player, but again, you know. Uh, but how much is it? Is it Man United system and how much is it? Is Martial because I thought at times last season he didn't score, but he did brilliantly exactly. holding up the ball. Man City game, yeah, holding up the ball, playing. Me, that's probably the best play. football we played. But they don't see that. But that's what I'm saying to because he's not English. They're not going to tell you that only English. But they don't need to score because they play they, the, the, the work they do off the ball and the, and some of the lazy side, some of the things I've been seeing. I know. Honestly, some of the British media, even YouTube people, yeah. this, the amount Lil of Costas, slander. Neil Costas. The amount of slander they're giving that him. It's always, it doesn't, it's sulking and all that. Oh my God. From wow. the Sunday though, but wow. we don't expect anything less. Yeah. Marcus Rashford, you know what I mean? For me, gonna, Saeed, like I said to you, we're going to go into that on my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real therapy. therapy. Real therapy. Yeah. But Saeed, He'll be it's injured, an but absolute. Again, a Oligan Solskjaer is apparently saying, you know. Saeed, it is an absolute travesty. The yeah. statement that Rash, um, Solskjaer made. It was an absolute travesty. Absolute travesty. Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood, this is a massive season for Massive him. season massive as well. Season. You can see already yesterday, he looks like a bit more stronger. Yeah. He's, he's worked. Is this he's a massive worked. season because now he has to prove that he can play in that number he, nine Can role. he sustain? No, no, no. At times when we need him, can he sustain being in the first team? Like sustain and, and be a starter. Don't book on it and say, oh, you know yeah. what? Feel sorry for yourself. No. Can he have that mentality? Because sometimes yeah. you can fold, you know what I mean? Yeah. Before I mean, he was the kind of the boy that was coming through, but now we've got a couple now. You know that are coming through, 
Yeah, so the, the, so, so if, 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 if Elanga stays, he's going to put pressure on Mason yeah. Green. Yeah, because yeah. he can play on the right or left yeah. quite quick. Yeah, teach teach on. Good luck at Birmingham. That'll be a good long move. That'll Hopefully, long he can get game time. He, he looks he looked like stronger as well. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's growing. Elanga is an interesting one, you know. It, it, for me, yeah, he's like, very direct. Very direct, man. Very direct. You know what I mean? He's strong. Take you know shots. Me? Speedy Gonzalez, man. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I think you know what I mean. But he's 20 now, and at 20, you need to add, it's add a make or break, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know to me, th he's the one that I think maybe we should. That's what I'm saying to you. The it. idea of like Lingard or him, like, that's what in my mind works out. We let Lingard go, we could have him on the bench this season coming yeah. in and playing games. Do you yeah. understand? Because he offers something more directness than Lingard. Yeah, 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 of course. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He offers natural place, and also, he's quite assured in front of goal. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Short tie up. To Short me, tie is still a baby. He's, he's, he's still breaking. Still, still breaking. breaking up, but. Still breaking. That's, that's, the, that's the kind of uh, the, the, the pre season vibes. Obviously, we got, I think we've got um, QPR next. It's all about match fitness. Nobody get your hair down and say. All they out and all that. Listen, even me, I can't say. <laughs> Listen, it's all about preseason. It's preseason, and plus, a lot of the young players are playing because they're looking for loans for them. Yeah. Hence, why they're playing. We're not gonna have a proper preseason till the Pogbas, the Brunos, the, the, you know what I mean, all of them, the De Gea's, the Martial's, mm. the, you know what I mean, the yeah. Van der Beek's, all yeah, yeah. playing and playing. And starting so, look, there's the a lot season. of questions. The Lord Cavani's. Yeah. All of these players need to come back and, and do you reckon that Man United can get this solved? We got, I think, it's about a month left till the Premier League season starts, or less than that. I think that's three weeks. Yeah, three weeks left till the season starts. Can Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Can this team? It's get... not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm sorry, sorry. It's hey? not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's the structure of this football club. Yeah, true. And and true. and at the end of the day, Ole can do what he can do. But I'm looking to Ole. I'm separating the both. What Oli can do on the pitch, yeah. or how his game management, I'm going to be scrutinising next yeah. season. Yeah. I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. Because this is, to me, any other manager, mm. this is where huge pressure. I know. And so he talked about it. To me, I, I don't think the Europa League's a trophy. To me, I don't. It just papers over the cracks. The League Cup will paper over the cracks as well. Yeah, but true. as a football fan, as a youngster, having a trophy is important yeah. for Man United. To go almost five seasons now without a trophy, right? <laughs> It's, it's make or break. It's man. make or break. So this season, and, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, yeah. in terms of game management, substitutions, yeah. style of play, has to improve. They, that has to dramatically improve. And the fans improve. won't take it. The fans and I'm telling you, and this is the Ole Inners. Some of the Ole Inners have been getting old to me and telling me, I can't back him anymore if he gets it wrong this season. So the pressure is huge mm. because people have not forgotten what happened in that Europa League final. Yeah, oh, I forgot. I won't forget again, mate. You know what I mean? It's, just, <laughs> it's scarred me already. I'm scarred. That night, mate, you know what I mean? I was in Marvin's room again, man. Just, you know what I mean? Just feeling sorry for myself because <laughs> we're thinking, why did we not make a substitution to the 100 minute? But again, people, that's for another discussion. And also, we'll be discussing what are the aims for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the next podcast, maybe, and what is our kind of, you know... you know. And then by next Monday, we should know a little bit more. Yeah. We would know a little we'll bit more. A little bit more, and hopefully we can see are we squad challenging or, again, are we just, you know what I mean, here for... You know, club purposes and trying to attract the best players in the club just to match sponsors. Are, are, are we commercial FC, mate? Or are we going to go and do what we do? Or are we still run like a Sunday League club? Yeah. Sunday League kit, Sunday League club. You never know. But people, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. If you have done, please, please smash a like on the video. It's very, very important you guys help out with the algorithms, you know what I mean, and whatnot. And subscribe if you are new. If you haven't subscribed, I think there's about 40% of you that haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Don't just watch it. Just you know hit what I mean? Subscribe hit the subscribe button and support the channel. You know what I mean? Road tell a friend. 50, tell a friend. Mate. Road, road to yeah, 50, man. That's it, go. man. You know what I mean? So, thousand, maybe. Yeah, let's go, people. That's what we want to do, people. So, please, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what I mean? And, and big up to everybody in the world. I want to say a couple of shout outs to, you know, Eid's around the corner. So, by the, the next day or tomorrow, you know, be happy Eid. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Eid yeah, Mubarak as well. To everybody, you know what I mean? Enjoy the weather. And also, I want to give a shout out to the people of South Africa. I don't know if you hear yeah, me. Course, There's got, a lot I've of trouble in South Africa, yeah, so man. we, you know, in solidarity with the people of South Africa, you know what I mean? And we just want to say, you know what I mean, send our wishes and love, and hopefully yeah. there can be some sort of peace. Uh, anything else you want to mention? You know what? I just want to say uh, RIP to Jaffa. Yeah. Uh, absolute Rushom legend, Rushom yeah. Mossad legend, a bus driver, and a diehard United fan. Yeah. Big, big love to, to brother and his family, man. You know what? Yeah. This is Mr. Jefferson. 
um, where people when I near play Playfair in Russia on Playfair Street yeah. used to play out their house. Mr. Jefferson was the kind of guy when we were kids. His dad, Jefferson's dad, would take the ball and go, "You're kicking it over yeah, far too long." Over, yeah. Take the ball from us. We used yeah. to have a laugh and joke with him. But yeah, Jaffa, R.I.P. and to his family, to his, to his, to his, yeah. to his children, yeah. to his partner. You know what I mean? Our condolences go out. Every, people who know know Jaffa, absolute no. Rushmore Mossad legend. Yeah, man. RIP Jaffa, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, and the same. Eid Mubarak to everybody. Yeah. You know what? Solidarity with all of the chaos and the madness that's going on. Solidarity with the people in Germany and Belgium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The flooding. Thought, yeah, exactly. The flooding you know was what? taking that's place crazy, there, man. man. Absolutely. You only know that's going to come out. Climate you know I mean? crisis is real. Yeah, yeah, people. of course, man. And See, that's what people, you know, village is just. Gone like that, mate. No help, no nothing. You know what I mean? So again, so down to people in Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Germany yeah, yeah, in and around that area. You yeah, know what I mean? And, and yeah, man. And also, people just enjoy the weather. It might be free. Dehydration, day. people. Dehydration. Drink, drink water, not beer. Beer is not dehydration. <laughs> beer dehydrates you. You need to drink water, people. Yeah. Look after yourselves and your families. And regardless what Boris says. It's still Rona, still running a madness. So look after yourselves and your families and friends. And wash social. Your... Wash your body, <laughs> wash your hands, people. <laughs> exactly. Make sure you subscribe to Rio United Therapy. We're gonna be going live on this channel soon. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also like the video on this channel as well. But people, enjoy the rest of your day. My United preseason mode. We're going at it. Take care. Bye bye and peace.